feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film just a little short thank you, thank you, thank you video to you guys. It is the new year. We are in 2020. Oh my gosh, I totally cannot believe that. But we are in 2020. So the year has begun and I am so excited about so many different things that is going to be taking place. Um, but first of all, I just want to say thank you guys so much. I am sorry, Nyla is up and she's excited for the day. But I just wanted to um, go ahead and say thank you guys so, so much for 2019. Oh my goodness, I cannot... I cannot even believe that we're in 2020, but I am grateful to God that we made it through another year, all of us together. 2019 did not break us, you guys. It did not break us. It built us up and it got us ready for 2020. And so I just want to thank you guys so much for all your love, all your inspirations, all your encouraging words, you know, just always being there for me and, um, you know, following me and, and just subscribing to my channel and just everything, you guys. You guys have been such an abundance of blessing in my life. And I don't consider you as friends. I consider you as family. We are family and family stick together. You know what I'm saying? And you guys have always just stuck inside, stuck, not stuck inside, but you guys have just always been there for me. And I am just so thrilled and so excited about what 2020 has for all of us. Um, you have helped me to build this channel from what it was to what it is now. And I also want to go ahead and give a shout out to my girl here on YouTube, Heidi Sambo. She reached out to me and on Instagram and she was just like, hey girl, how's it going? How's your channel? Because we've been talking back and forth and I've kind of just been venting <laughs> to her um, about certain things, what I'm, what I'm feeling and how I'm feeling about YouTube and everything. And she just went above and beyond and um, just was such a blessing to me. Um, I advised her that I wanted to get my channel to a certain point and she literally went ahead and invited her subscribers, her viewers to come and support my channel and get it to the point of where I wanted it to be before 2019 was over. And I hit that goal because God has used her to be such a blessing. And Heidi, I love you so much. I thank you so, so much for just being a friend, being a real and true friend because I have reached out to so many different YouTubers here, um, content creators on YouTube and I want to say a selected few has reached back and Heidi has been one of those reoccurring, continual praying for me, encouraging me, talking with me through Instagram, through email, through my channel and just really have been there for me and I'm just so grateful to her, so grateful to God for her and I just pray God's richest blessing in her life. If you guys don't know who Heidi Sambo is, I will put a link down in the description box for her channel and you can go ahead and give her a uh, hey how you doing, hey girlfriend, <laughs> just give her, you know, let her know that I sent you over and um, subscribe to her channel. She has amazing content. She does a lot of similar things that I do, but she is really amazing when it comes to crafts. Oh my God, her crafts are amazing. But um, I just want to say thank you to Heidi and also thank you to all of you that has been here for me. And yeah, we are excited about what 2020 is going to be. Um, I have tons of renovations that's going to be taking place upstairs. I have not shown you guys upstairs yet. You may see a few snippets here and there in my bedroom because of cleaning or whatever, but a lot has changed. It's starting to rain, <laughs> but a lot has changed. We are getting ready to redo our master bedroom. The bedroom set that you guys have seen when we first moved into the, um, this house is not the bedroom set with, that we have up there now. What we have up there is pretty much temporary. Um, the bedroom set that we have um, that we had up there, we sent it back to the store because we are leasing it. Um, and we sent it back to the store because it's such a 
huge size bedroom set and for what we are getting ready to do the span of work that we're getting ready to do in the master bedroom we needed to get it out but there was nowhere else in the house for us to put it so we are going to be bringing that bedroom set back once the master bedroom is done because we are going to be painting, we're going to be adding wainscoting, we're going to be adding new flooring, we're going to be adding a master closet and also new lighting. So we have tons and tons and tons of things that we're going to be doing in our master bedroom this year and I am super excited about it. I cannot wait. Oh my goodness. I My brain is just just bursting with ideas and it's going to definitely be a different look and I'm going to be giving you a before and after tour but also I'm going to be taking you throughout the process of that as well. We also have our bathrooms. We have two bathrooms in this house and this house is a 1920s colonial style so our bathroom does reflect the style in the era of the house <laughs> but um, we are going to be redoing that as well. We're going to be doing it's, it's a lot of DIYs, a lot of cosmetics but we're also going to be um, redoing both bathrooms in the house. We're going to be getting new vanities, new lighting, new mirrors, painting the tiles, painting the floors, just lots of DIYs and lots of really good stuff. Also, we're going to be putting new floors down in our children's bedrooms because my son does have like half flooring, half um, subflooring in his room. So we're going to be putting down brand new floors on his floor in his room. We're also going to be doing a lot of storage options in his room as well and brand new closet doors. In Nyla's room, we're also going to be putting down new flooring because she just has just sub floors in her room. So we're going to be doing that as well and new closet um, doors in her room and sort of like a closet organizational um, you know, system in her room. And also, I'm going to be doing some wainscoting on her wall and painting it pink. That should be awesome. I'm excited about that. And I do want to do some type of floral um, design um, on her wall. And I'm going to be hand painting that um, as well on her wall. Um, and just kind of giving her a more teenager, you know, tween design type of look. Also, um, in Michaela's room, we're going to be putting that new flooring in there and kind of, she, her room is kind of like pink all over um, and so I'm kind of just going to be adding a little touches um, of glam here and there because she does love the glam look. So um, we have a few things to do in her room, but not a lot because her room is pretty much done, but we do need to add some flooring to her room. Also in the hallway upstairs, I do want to add some photos on the walls, a new lighting upstairs in the ceiling, and um, you know, just a just little bit of touches here and there. In the attic, we are going to be turning the attic into a movie theater room and my office studio. But I'm not sure we're going to get to that this year. We are going to probably get to that next year by the grace of God, um, but we are going to start some things this year. So we have to put heating in the attic and lighting in the attic and also we have to put sheetrock and insulation, new floors, all those things. So we do have quite some work to, to be done and most of it my husband and I are going to be doing ourselves, but some of it we are going to be contracting out as well. So stay tuned for that. Downstairs here in the living room we're going to be adding two lighting um, to the ceiling because you guys know I don't have any light in my living room and it's quite dark especially when I'm trying to do videos it is definitely very dark in there so I do have two lamps right now that's in there but we're going to be adding um, some pendant lighting or some type of chandelier um, in there as well um, and then in our dining room we're going to be changing out the lights so downstairs here we're kind of just going to be changing out all the lighting um, that is downstairs right now except for the foyer. We're going to keep that lighting because I actually do love it now. It grew on me and so we're going to keep that. Um, our kitchen is going to get like a second phase makeover. When we moved in here, if you guys remember, my kitchen was like all yellow. So I changed it and painted the cabinets white and um, kind of gave it like a little bit of, of an update. So now what I'm going to be doing is to bring it into the style and decor of the house that, you know, the rest of the house. 
um, and kind of bringing that traditional but updated modern farmhouse um, style that I'm going for but light and airy so I'm going to be painting the walls in the kitchen the same cream that is in the house because I do love this color and I'm not going to change it I'm kind of tired of gray and white um, I, it just seems so sterile compared to the rest of my home that's warm and cozy so I'm going to be painting my cabinets like a tannish um, gray color but it's more tan I'm going to get the color and I'm going to show it to you guys um, in another video once I start the kitchen updates. But it's more of like a, a beigey tan color. Um, almost looks like coffee with cream. That's prob that's the best way I can um, tell you guys the color. Um, like a coffee with cream. So maybe like a toffee color. Because the white cabinets, they get dirty so easily and I'm just cleaning it all the time. So I'm going to paint it that color. Um, also, I'm going to be trying to add a new facing to it. My cabinets right now are metal, so I'm going to try to add some wood panels to the cabinets and see if I can reface it and bring it into more of a shaker style um, look with some new candles on there as well. Um, my walls are going to be the same cream and we're going to be updating the sink. We're going to be updating the dishwasher because it's crazy it's acting all types of nuts and um, just some decor here and there we're going to be putting in a new light fixture and the cutting board that is over my dishwasher because you know I, there's like that big hole that's on my countertop we're going to be redoing that as well and I'm adding a completely brand new backsplash so stay tuned for that because it is a lot of work that's going to be taking place y'all and I am so excited all about it um, my office now well what used to be my office is no longer my office um, we have given that space to my daughter Michaela because she is a gymnast and instead of her doing all of her gymnastics moves you know off the steps and in the living room and in the dining room um, we kind of just wanted to give her like her own little studio so that is going to be Michaela's space and I'm going to decorate it based on her you know what she likes and what she wants to see and just whatever inspires her that's going to be her space so I'm also going to be taking guys along with that um, <laughs> I'm trying to breathe so the next phase of design in our house is my husband's studio we already started that we're in the process of finishing that up and we're going to be doing that um, MBM if you guys are not um, Affiliate. If you guys don't know his channel, he is Mike Bowens Motivates here on YouTube, also on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. You can go and visit him. His link is down in my description box. Um, so we're building his studio downstairs and it's going to be amazing. Like it's royal blue and golds and whites and just royalty and luxury and oh my gosh it's it's looking amazing so that we are almost done with and then i'm going to turn my sights on to the laundry room because like it needs help y'all um so we're going to be doing that as well i'm going to be doing the floors down there um i already have some cabinets that's down there and kind of just sprucing it up a bit um putting up some walls and painting and all that so stay tuned we have a year that's filled with nothing but renovations and decor and i'm just excited about it because y'all know i'm here for it so i hope you guys will stay tuned with me on this journey and yeah we are going to have some fun so subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so so that you can stay updated with the videos that i'm going to upload um, in regards to all these renovations and just other things that I do here on my channel I do a lot of cleaning videos and motivational videos and thrifting haul videos shopping videos and of course DIYs and decor videos I am going to be starting to implement a lot more faith videos so if you like that please leave a comment down below and let me know what you would like to see I am going to be talking about everyday topics that we face as moms, as women, as wives, as businesswomen, as, you know, just career women and everything like that. So make sure you guys stay tuned um, because it's going to be a lot of changes that is coming up to my channel. I'm going to be doing a video um, just kind of letting you guys know what I'm going to be changing up on the channel and the days that we're going to be uploading and such. So stay tuned for that. 
make sure you hit that subscribe bell and um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the bell um, and hit the all option so that you guys can stay tuned um, for new notifications that's coming up and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all so much. Let's make 2020 the best year of our lives. Thanks guys. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm